Hey, MG, what's up? Let's talk about visual metamorphosis. All right, so basically, when you take something in, and it changes, like a caterpillar to a butterfly, but let's take this in an artsy term and kind of like spice it up a little bit. So here we have an inanimate object of a hot air balloon, and it is changing into this really cool jellyfish. All right, so let's look at some more art. Let's move me down so you can see it. Shoo! All right, so here we have an inanimate object of an umbrella, and then it's being warped and changed into this organic, more animal of uh, jellyfish. All right, next one. So here we have a fan that is an inanimate object, and then it is metamorphosizing into this sunflower. Absolutely gorgeous. So here we have an inanimate object of a shoe, and it is metamorphosizing into a swordfish. Absolutely gorgeous. What makes this super cool looking is their use of value, their use of shading, their use of like photorealistic drawing techniques. That's what you really need. And this one looks good, and this one looks good. These can all be kind of like a blurry change as you go. Here we have daily object we see all the time. It's an inanimate object of a staple remover. And you kind of look at it, you're like, yeah, that could totally be a lion's mouth because it's kind of got somewhat of the same characteristics. So it warps a little bit, then more, and then there we have the lion. So here we have an inanimate object, a light, and then the organic animal, which is a snake. So you're picking an object and then you're turning it into an animal. So here we have the light very much detailed um, using value and shade. And that's the key. You want it to be photorealistic so that your mind, when you see these, warps it into this photorealistic design. You really want to work on your drawing skills here. So you can see the transformation. Here we have a larger scale kind of thing. So you, it doesn't have to be relative same sizes. We have an excellent water bottle drawing with look at those lights and darks. Value is what makes something look realistic. You've got to get the darks and the lights and all 10 different shades in there. And then over here, you can see the more organic tree. So we're going from an object to something that's alive, something that's organic. It's an easier flow. So this one, your second metamorph of it, should look more like the bottle and a little bit like the tree. And then the third one should look mostly like the finished one and a little bit like the bottle. That's how we're going to see it. And sometimes you can have more than just four. You're only required to have four different stages. So here we have the um, Paris, the Eiffel Tower and it's morphing into that elephant. Now, so this one is having one, two, three, four, five, but you really only are required to have four, but sometimes depending on what you're morphing, you might need more. Here, you can go vertical too, or horizontal. So majority I see horizontal a lot, but like for this feather going to the dolphin, uh, the vertical was nice. Okay, over here we have pliers going to the ram um, and it goes through here. Here we're using only four and here we used one, two, three, four, five, six. So depending on what your design is. So choose an inanimate object and metamorphic into an animal. Really using value, shade, photorealistic techniques, proportions, and then you, this one will look more like the first, and this one will look more like the last. These aren't as important as the first and the last because your mind will fill in the gaps. These can be just like in between, but this one needs to be super realistic looking, and this one needs to be super realistic looking with that value and that shade. So that's what we're really focused on. So I can't wait to see these projects. They're going to be absolutely awesome. Let's go back and look at these pictures that we can just get some ideas of them. So you're going to pick an inanimate object, and then you're going to pick an animal or something that's alive that's more organic. And then you're going to metamorphosize the object into the animal um, from more, you know, object into more organic. 
Um, so visual metamorphosis. I can't wait to see your artwork. Let's do this. All right, so let's create a metamorphosis from an inanimate object into an animal. So first you need to come up with an idea that you wanna do, and you're gonna research and find your picture of your animal, and then you're gonna find a picture of your area, of your object. And we're going to then create a metamorphosis of the hat to the tiger here. Now, in order for this to look real, you have to really focus and make these photorealistic, your object and photorealistic for your animal. They need to have value and shading and really put some time into it. This one should look more like the object than the animal. This one should look more like the animal than the object, and then it creates that blur. All right, so let's talk about this and how we're gonna actually do it. So once you have your research, you're ready to start your drawing. Now, what I like to do to start my drawing is I like to create each little section. And you can have more than four, but four is a nice one to get started with depending on what it, your object is. So basically, I fold half a sheet of long paper. So basically, you take a piece of paper and then you're going to fold it in half and cut it. And then from here, you have this nice horizontally long, and you're gonna start with creating that, looking at the photo and drawing it as real as possible, looking at this photo and drawing it as real as possible. So then I also am going to think about if I wanna do it vertical, I can. You don't have to have it horizontal. Let's say you're doing a feather to a dolphin. Well, if I'm doing that, my drawing is probably going to be more horizontal instead of vertical. So keep that in mind. Do what you need to do. I absolutely love time lapse. So notice how first you draw it very lightly and then you change your proportions. So this is not using a grid system and going realistic. This is about using proportions. Look at that tiger head. It's basically a circle with a cone on it. You get that circle and cone in the right spot, then adding in all the details is easy. But if you mess up your proportions, it doesn't look right. The other thing is, is you want to think about your spacing here. Actually, when I was drawing the tiger, I started a little too far off. I should have started closer to that page, but I'm going to fix it as I keep working with it. You want all of your metamorphoses to be roughly the same height and what roughly the same um, thickness or the width. So keep that in mind. Can't wait to see them.